really tell. Um, you know, he's a young kid. I mean, he could he could get married, have kids. You just don't know what goes on in <laughs> life, you know, for for a youngster. But I'm sure, you know, he's, he's got a, a lot ahead of him and uh, this will be a good experience for him for yeah, the future. Well, well done, Judd Trump. Well done, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Okay. Congratulations. How was it for you? Yeah, it was all right. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was a good game. Yeah. Started well. Started very well. I, th th you're feeling the touches right at the moment? <sighs> it's OK. <laughs> it's all right, I suppose. Yeah. Do you say that running's helping you? Um, I don't really want to sit here and talk about it. We're, we're, talking, we're, we're talking about snooker today. <laughs> yeah, we are. No, just, just, but you know, it's just how, how you approach the game. And yeah, I don't what, really. It's not really the right time to place to talk about that. Yeah. I should talk about the game. Talk about how well, you know, Judd, Judd's a good player, and you know, one for the future. Well, I say one for the future, one for now. You know, um, it's just a matter of time before hope, you know he break through. I like the way he plays. And once he breaks through, then. Um, Please don't interrupt me while I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> Once he breaks through, then obviously you know he's um, he's going to be a formidable opponent for anybody because uh, you know you, you need to get a win under your belt before you actually feel that you know you, you, the pressure relieves and then you can just play your natural game. Go on, yeah, Don. Yeah. I was going to say, Judge is. Uh, I like the way he plays. He's an attacking player. He's very nonchalant, oh. isn't he? Mm. And, uh, yeah, a little bit like the Paul Hunter. Paul I was Hunter going to say the same thing. Like yeah, you know, played with that. You know. Um, you know, very dangerous opponent, very naturally talented, a very good snooker brain, you know, and uh, you know, he gets on with it because he, he has the ability to see the shot so fast and you know and you know, he plays some beautiful shots out there today, you know, creatively, mm -hmm. safety wise as well. So, you know, it's all it's all good for him, you know, the future's good for him, so I wanna talk about you. Um, just and and what this means for you. it's it's early days in terms of the tournament. Mm. But what what do you take from it? Uh, I'm just pleased to have, to have got through. You know, it was um, a tough first round match. Um, obviously, a big crowd out there. Big crowd outside there as well, trying <laughs> to get in maybe. <laughs> there was a big crowd out there, and he, he had a lot of support. So obviously, the pressure was on me to to kind of get the result because everybody would have been expecting me to win. And 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 I think behind the scenes, everybody realised what a capable player Judge Trump is. So you know, it, it wasn't um, you know as far as the crowd were concerned, I was expected to win, but. You know, um, ability-wise, you know, he's up there with the top four in the world. So it was um, always going to—it was I was always on a hide into nothing, but um, I was pleased to come through that kind of test, if you like. Yeah. What motivates you these days? What gets you through a test? Well, like it's that? certainly not the money in snooker because there's not a lot of it about. So uh, it's just the love of the game. You know, I just I enjoy playing. I'm enjoying playing at the moment. I've enjoyed practicing this season, and 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 that's the thing for me. You know, is, um, I haven't enjoyed playing for a long time for certain reasons, and I won't go into them, but. Um, I've been, been enjoying my practice and it's, it's nice to get out of bed in the morning and actually look forward to playing. You know, two or three hours of snooker now it just feels like ten minutes to me, whereas before it felt like a hell of a long time. But, um, you know, um, so, so I'm just enjoying playing, you know, and uh, that's, that's, snooker's a bit of a bonus for me at the moment, you know, um, it's not the most important thing going on. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying playing, which is important, you know. Um, I, I don't care if I win or lose, because um, it's, it's not that important. Um, but, you know, it's nice to come here and something to do, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah. Any thoughts on playing Steve Davis? Uh, well, I don't, you know, it's, he's a fantastic player, he's one of my heroes, uh, someone who I admire, um, you know, one of the greatest snooker players ever lived, so, you know, it'd just be a nice for me to, um, to, to have another game, really. We had that year, didn't we, where all sorts of strange things happened. Dominic got to the semi-finals, <laughs> Steve got to the final, faced you, and he very nearly overturned you then, didn't he? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think Steve had, um, you know, tactically awareness, um, he, he, he outplayed me then, um, but obviously since I've worked with Ray, I've learned that if I need to play tactically, I can play tactically. I don't really like playing that game because I like to, to win frames in one visit and kind of put my opponent under pressure and, and force him into making mistakes. And um, you know, but I, I've incorporated a bit of the tactical side. But you know, I, I don't want to be out there for three or four hours. You know what I mean? I want to try and get games mm. over and done with as quickly as I can, whether you win or lose. You know what I mean? Hopefully, you win more than you lose. But um, you know, I don't want to be. Uh, I couldn't do what Pete Rebden does, put it that way. I, I tap my outfit, he's got some stamina, that bloke, you know what I mean? But, you know, he, he can do that, you know, I mean, I'd, I'd end up with a sore head and, mm. like I say, it's... Um, he's like chess, isn't he? Well, he's very intense, you know, and, and, and thing like that, but, you know, that's, he, he, can, he can do that, so um, I, I, I ain't going to enjoy playing like that, so I don't bother doing that, you know, I need to, to be flowy, and I can play tactical, I can play safety, you know what I mean? There's, if I'm queuing all right, I can sit there and play with, with you know, you know, if they want to slow it down, I can, I can be patient enough, but, um, yeah. you know, it's, uh, I, I need to get games going a bit lively. Ronnie, you're a star. Thanks very much. Well done this afternoon. We'll okay. see more of you in the week to come.